Uh, you know that 50 Cent got discovered by Eminem? Got discovered? Like, like you know how like Eminem was discovered by uh, Dr. Dre? Yeah, Eminem I know. Did the same I know how they got. 50. I know how they got picked up. Like he got like discovered or like whatever. He's like Eminem is the reason he's like a big thing. Dude, 50 is. I, I still listen to his music. He's really good. I don't know anything by 50 Cent. I know he was in Crack a Bottle. <sighs> he had a whole album that uh, my little brother had, Scott. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Scott but anyway, this it. is, um, welcome back to Pigeonholes. This is, uh, 50 Cent, Blood on the Sand. Oh, man, I can choose a sidekick. Dude, DJ Woo Kid. DJ Woo Kid. Just because, you know, you gotta be super gay to have a DJ in front of your name. <laughs> there we go. Damn. Right. So, um, so there were two games that I know of for 50 Cent. Uh, originally, the, the company that uh, bought his uh, his title, just like, hey, we want to make a game that's uh, for 50 Cent. And then the entire time, all you have to do is just say, I guess shot nine times. Because <laughs> that's all anyone really knew about him. That was like his claim to like gangster fame. He got shot a bunch. A fucking bunch. Anyway, um, the company that bought the company that bought the game gave him uh, gave him an advanced copy. And they're like, hey, we worked super hard on it, but here's the game. 50 looked at the game and were like, you guys are full of shit. <laughs> and sued for the rights to be a director to make the next game. That's awesome. And that I part I didn't it. tell you. He actually did sue them. That's he got awesome. so pissed that their game was so shitty that he sued them to make another game. <laughs> That's awesome. So wow. basically, he's just like, you people suck. Like, fucking destroyed my name. Chief! Whoa! Double anyway. kill. <laughs> Kill-tacular. <laughs> anyway. Uh, started making a game. He became director of the... He became head director of the game. Like, ser like I mean, seriously, he actually went through all the steps. Like, talk to everyone, coordinate. Well, no, apparently Finney's actually, like, a pretty, like, smart dude. The dude's really smart. That's the guy with the rocket launcher. You may want to watch out. Yeah. Look, it's my rocket launcher now. X. There you go. Figure it out. Ooh, well, it's my rocket launcher now. Anyway. He's holding the rocket launcher. Yeah, he's a really smart guy. Same with Eminem. I'm pretty sure he's pretty smart, too. Yeah. And 2 Chains was fucking valid Victorian. Yep. In his class, like shit, like that. Some rappers are very smart individuals. Dude, this is a red barrel. Shoot it. No. <laughs> you always shoot the red barrels. It's anyway, like you always shoot the red shirts. <laughs> anyway, the dude is just like fucking NFL, like, <laughs> like turning around corners, NFL style, just a grab, yeah. just to fucking hide from people. <laughs> Over the fucking shotgun. Yeah. But no, yeah. Then Finney said, like, get this game. He did this game. This, this is like 50s, this is all of his shit. Wow. Went okay, the well fence, apparently there's no fence there. <laughs> but yeah, now, there are problems with this game, but it's pretty fucking fun. <laughs> for an early 360 game, this was almost launch. Was it? Yeah, it was almost a launch game. Well, I don't think it was that early. Yeah. All right, hold on. Now look we at that case, case right there. here. Oh man, this case is fucked. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking messed up case. I got it from the local exchange store. No, okay, so this came out two years after. The first game was launch. There we go. Okay, so this came out in 2008. Mm -hmm. Xbox came out in 06. Uh. No, the first game was on PS2, that's right. Anyway, I wasn't even aware that it was a first game when I got this. I just saw this at a fucking bargain bin. I'm like, this looks fucking hilarious. Let oh, yeah. buy this game. No, it's a great game. People people were even like, hey, this is actually 
pretty fluid in it. I Feels got it, and there are problems with it. Oh yeah, but it's but it's fucking fun. Yeah, like <laughs> this he is went a through very he, fun experience. Yeah, he went through. He beta tested. Mm-hmm. He got he got like group. Mm-hmm. He, he got like group uh, people to check up on it. And it's funny because it's basically just like self masturbation for fifty cent, but. I'm all it's, right with it's masturbating. Not bad, it's not sense. a bad game. Like I've actually played this before. I actually like it. It's, it's pretty fucking fun. Yeah, it's like, like it, it feels like. Um, no, no, I don't want to say that. What, what were you? I was gonna say? I was gonna say it feels like a very early rendition of uh, Army of Two. Uh, except Army of Two is not as fun. I yeah, it's really not. I, I, um, I played Army of Two once. <laughs> that guy was one. Um, I played Army of Two once, and when I played it, uh, I was in a barcade. A, bu- oh, the a, bar- a barcade, yeah. I am aware of so the barcade. So, it was me and a buddy of mine down in Georgia. Oh, this we... one's in Georgia, not the Cleveland one? No, no. I didn't even know we had one in Cleveland. I was thinking of opening one. <laughs> I'll continue. Um, yeah, it was just me and him. We're sitting there for maybe about like three, four Fuck. hours. We get yep. pretty drunk. Of course. And pretty soon, it's just me and him. Like we're on a couch to begin with. We've got beers, and we're like, "All right, well, this is pretty. This is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty relaxing." Stand up. <laughs> and I'm like, "All right, well, I'm, I'm starting to get a little tired. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna stretch out a bit." All of a sudden, like, huge boss battle. I chug my beer, and I'm just like, fucking get up! Get up! And I'm just like, I'm hyping up my, I'm hyping up my body. And we're fucking, like, we're shouting so loud that people in the background are like, yeah, kick his ass! Yeah! It's in this little bar. It's not huge. It maybe could seat about 80 people. If that. (laughs) Like, if everyone was standing, it could have been 80 people. (laughs) <laughs> That's fucking nothing. <laughs> it was just we're shouting at the top of our lungs, and it's at like one in the morning, and we're just fucking playing this game. Oh man, Army of Two. But yeah, that's my experience with Army Two. There we go. Have you played any Telltale games? Telltale? Yeah, like The Walking Dead. No, I haven't. I I Shit. really I kind of don't want to. Well, like, even not... It doesn't have to be The Walking Dead. Like, there's a... Yeah, fucking goddamn... I Man, you're getting fucked. It, like, they have the Borderlands one. They have a Back to the Future one. They have Jurassic Park. They have um, Game of Thrones. They have a Borderlands Telltale game? Yep. What? Yeah, that's a real thing. Yes. Is it, like, The Walking called... Dead episodes? Yeah, that's... it's very episodic. Ah. Uh... You don't like episodic? I... Mm. Okay, I haven't played that to not like it. So... Because there's some really good, like, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Probably the best fucking Resident Evil game in a while. And that was episodic, and I fucking loved it. Yeah. Okay, here, how about this? Um, You're subscribed to uh, The Switcher, The Two Best Friends, right? I am subscribed, but I'm not a regular watcher. Okay, well, they're, they're playing this series called uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Mm-hmm. It's is like it, this. Is it the second one? Uh, mm, I think. Because I love both. The, I like. Because they've got like the two player setup. Okay, it's probably um, it's probably two. That'd be cool if we did that on here. That would be an interesting thing. A that, local two player campaign. That would be sort. pretty sweet because it's like, it's pretty heavy two player. Mm-hmm. I'll have to check it out. Do they like? Is it local or is it like online? Oh, it's, lo- it's local. Okay, thank God. That would be difficult to, you know. No, 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 because I thought about that too, and I'm like, yeah, it's it's local. Because I, I, I watched one thing that they did where they uh, they did the Far Cry 4 co-op. Yeah. But neither of them had mics on. So they were just, like, it just kept, kept cutting back from each of them, like, messing with each other and talking about each other, and it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, that was one of my recent things that I watched from them, which was pretty hilarious. But I don't watch them on a regular basis. I like some of their Machinima episodes. Yeah, I like the one, um... The Persona my fa- pretty fucking My favorite Machinima episode from them was, uh... God, Machinima, that just... 
That, that feels like an eight, like a lifetime ago to me. Yeah, right. But my favorite Machinima episode from them was when they did the uh, Red Dead Redemption one. <laughs> yes. Where they like, well, they're doing like the old game, and they're like, I like, I don't really see why this is game of the year. It's got like the old PS2 graphics and all that. And then they cut to the 360, and it's just like, and after they die, finally they cut to the 360, and it's like, oh fuck, how did all this change? Oh, this looks a lot better. <laughs> I guess uh, the yeah, graphics... you told me about that one. I <laughs> didn't like, watch that. Oh man, the, uh, but I appreciate the fuck out of them for doing such the a one thing that made thing. me laugh was um, who's the guy that says America all the time? Is it Matt? I think it was um, Matt. Yeah, he's got like the higher voice. Yeah, there's um, there's America. Matt. There's, there's Matt, Matt Pat, there's Pat Wooly. I know Wooly because he did. Uh, he's an Evo. Yeah, he's King Scrub Lord. He is the king of the scrubs. He's King Scrub Lord. <laughs> but um yeah there's this one scene where he's like fighting a bear with his horse <laughs> and then after he beats the, and after he finally beats it it's like this huge like five minute sequence he finally beats it and he's like yeah America and it just like paint splashes an American flag with fireworks going off in the background <laughs> and I'm like yes America <laughs> that's how we're doing this oh, okay what are you doing? I think this is the the shop. Oh yeah, look at that! Purchase weapons. <laughs> I don't know how much cash we got. Five G's. Not bad. I mean, not good. We don't have any money for anything, but it's not bad. Can we sell a gun? I don't really want to. We can't. We're not rich enough to afford anything. We're not up to fifty cent standards, Dave. Oh man, we're just. We're, we're just low-tier scrub right now. We are low-tier fitty. We are 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> we are we're about quarter. 15 right now. We are not a half dollar. We are just a quarter. We're about, yeah, we're about 15 cent right now. Did you see that fucking dude? He thought he could... Fucking got laid the fuck out. He thought he could run right at me and be fine. Scrub Lord. Holy shit, lay low. Holy shit, lay low. Let's find some audio tips to tell us about the underwater city. What? I want 50 Cent to be a protagonist in in Bioshock. <laughs> so when shit goes down, like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Would you kindly? This shit's cray. <laughs> Would you kindly, motherfucker? <laughs> shit's fucked up. Oh, man, his puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Is this racist? <laughs> <laughs> just, just a, a little bit. But that, like, it's, it's not, not, it's not black people though. It's just Finny. That's how he talks. It's not as bad as our Persona episode. That one was Asians, <laughs> and Sam was a fucking dick. <laughs> 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 oh, what's it say? Tiny do. Did you see how I fucking wasted that guy? Ew! What you gonna do? How they roll. This is how we do. Yeah. Thank you, Tupac. Thank you, Biggie. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Kanye Jesus West. Jesus Christ. Fucking Kanye West. Oh, oh, good old Kanye. Did you watch the uh, roast of Justin Bieber? Uh, no. It was pretty funny. Martha Stewart fucking owned. I saw Martha Stewart's bit, and I saw Hannibal's bit. Hannibal was the more, like, that dude's, like, that dude's real. Yeah, he was the real one. Like. He's like, I don't care. He's like, f he, he seriously just said, fuck you for this fake attempt at, like, getting back into the world's good graces. <laughs> and I you, hope it doesn't like, work. You fake asshole. I hope it doesn't work. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. Go Hannibal. My favorite was uh, Pete Davidson. Do you know him? He's from no, SNL. He's fucking hysterical on no, SNL. No, I don't. Like, honestly, he's probably my favorite new guy, because he just has this bit where he just tells real stories from what he's, like, the dumb shit that he's done, <laughs> and it's fucking hilarious. But, like, he was on there, and I... Oh, I didn't do Unlockables. Why. Yay. I don't know why he was on there, but he was fucking being hilarious. His father died in 9-11, oh. and he was making jokes about it, and it was fucking great. Oh, shit. Look at this. No, Pete Davidson was making jokes. 
And Jen Jeff Ross made a joke about how uh, he said that Snoop Dogg, he's the only one on that stage that inhaled more smoke than Pete Davidson's dad. Oh. And everyone got silent, and then it cuts to Pete Davidson, who's fucking laughing hysterically. <laughs> Oh shit! And he's yelling at him. He's like, "What, guys? It's funny!" Yeah. <laughs> oh man! I'm like, that is a good one. Who was uh, who was the guy that did that um, that a joke like that? Oh shit! He's the voice of Iago from Len. You mean the fucking bird? Yeah, the bird. What what's his name? No, uh, uh, it starts with a G. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, that's is. it. All right, so shortly after 9-11, he made a joke about that. Ah, uh, yes, I recall. And then, he was just, and then, like, at the end of the joke, nobody laughed. So he's like, the aristocrats. <laughs> yeah. And, like, that's what that guy should have said. <laughs> Tied all together with a Gilbert Godfrey reference. He also did it to the Japanese tsunami. Oh, my God. On Twitter. Ah. Uh... He was on The Celebrity Apprentice recently. Gilbert Gottfried? Yeah, and he got fired and I was upset, so I stopped oh. watching. I got I stopped watching after Gilbert Gottfried got fired. That was sort that was sort of like um what was that show? The beta tester or something? They had a uh, Eagle Raptor on there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was for the beta I think it was actually called the beta tester. Did he do well? They Okay, so he's a he's a cool dude. People yeah. hate him for some reason. But he, he seems like a chill dude, even he's, if we he's don't find him very guy. funny. He's a pretty chill guy. But, um, the one thing that everyone even points out of that show, like, that you could even notice, everyone was, like, even just on, like, reviews, oh, everyone just watching for Ego Raptor, and it's <laughs> like, oh, the Metal Gear Awesome guy is on, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Metal Gear Awesome guy is on, uh, the te like, the tester or whatever. So it's like, oh man, that show's gonna get a bunch of views for that. When the people that were that were judging mm -hmm. the show heard about that, they're just like, you know what? Fuck this guy. We're just gonna screw him over every chance we get. <laughs> so literally, they just fucked with this guy like twenty four seven. Oh poor you. The entire rapper. time that he was on the show, and then after he won a bunch of challenges, they're just like, ah, sorry, we voted and decided that you're gonna go. <laughs> After he got kicked off the show, like he wasn't even upset. He was just like, eh, yeah, fuck those guys. No, all right. He wasn't even upset. After he got kicked off the show, the ratings dropped <laughs> by like forty percent. It was it was so it was so serious that they freaked and almost canceled the show. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's what you get for treating people like dicks. That dude's got a rocket launcher. You might want to watch out. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> rocket launchers are nothing to 50 Cent. He got shot nine times. <laughs> they got shot nine know? times. Lay low, lay low. Yeah, well, you're about to fucking... I died! <laughs> I, love woo, you. Woo. I love you. He did the Dougie right before you died. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. All right. Um, Alright, I'm gonna call it. Yeah. This is actually not a bad game. I like it. It's pretty fucking fun. Like, I've actually played... Like, like I said, I've played this before. It's the definitely the better version. I suggest you try it, and if you find it in a bargain bin like I did for like five, ten bucks, get it. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Alright, cool. Later, guys.